Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 64. Today we're going to look at logging emails with WP Mail the proper way. A while ago I actually wrote about how to do that using WP Mail as a pluggable function. And this link is in the show notes. Um, what I found was when I was working through password resets, as I was troubleshooting something, WP Mail is not always pluggable. So when you do a password reset, it doesn't read the pluggable function out of the plugin that I had built, and it was automatically sending my password reset emails to my customers which just made me look dumb. It made my client look dumb. We were also running into problems with plugins like WP Mandrel because w, my plugin was already trying to log all the emails. Uh, WP Mandrel, which all tries to take over WP Mail, was having issues with um, us actually being able to use it. And Mandrel is what MailChimp runs their, uh, kind of their base layer for sending emails. So what I had to do was dig into WP Mail. And this is the WP Mail function. Uh, this is right near the end. So everything above here um, basically assembles all our email to us. And the thing I really need was right here on line one or line 444. We have an action. So PHP Mailer in it. And it's sending us the PHP Mailer object. Now PHP Mailer is a class which you can find on GitHub. And this is uh, this is what PHP sends all its emails with. Um, on your servers 99% of the time. This is the class that's going to be used and this is uh, so this assembles everything and sends it out on the server for you. So what I had to do was then find a way to capture this right here and then the next thing it does is try and send it for us. And what I ended up doing was this is a rewritten version of the plugin is I added my action on PHP Mailer init you see there's is local and is staging. If you look at the readme for this plugin on GitHub, it explains how those work. So we're only doing some of this stuff if it is local or if it's a staging environment or if it's live. And you'll see that here. Here we say, if this is live, return PHP mailer. So just send the email. We're not logging it at all. If it's not live, then we're going to create our log. I can show you that in a second. And then I'm going to clear all recipients, which is a function in the PHP mailer class. And what that does is take all the emails right out of it. So then there's no one to send this to. And then we return PHP Mailer. There's some other um, suggestions on Stack Exchange that say you can just send back a, an empty object. So you create a new PHP Mailer object that's totally empty and just send that back. That creates errors for us. That doesn't work, which is why we just clear all recipients. Now there's no one to send the email to, and it won't work. Um, so it won't send. So now we're not using WP Mail as our plugging function and we're still capturing all the emails and returning an empty object back or an empty with no emails in it so we can capture them. And then to create our log, we're doing very similar to what we did the first time is we're getting our subject, we're getting our content, and then we're building our log data, right? Getting our post title in there, post content, log type, and then we're actually logging the whole PHP Mailer object as post meta as well, which is what this second array ends up doing, logs it as post meta. And then we use WP logging, which is the same thing we used in the first tutorial. Um, to create the log for us. And that's it, and that's how we use, um, that's how we plug WP Mail when it's not pluggable, because it is not always pluggable. Thanks for watching.